Who file ISF for other fashion necklaces? In the world of international trade, compliance is paramount. Today, we will explore the importer security filing, commonly referred to as ISF, focusing on who is responsible for filing when it comes to accessories such as fashion necklaces. The ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule implemented by the US Customs and Border Protection Agency, is a mandatory filing for all cargo being shipped to the US. This filing provides critical information that helps to secure the borders and improve the efficiency of customs processing for imports. So, who is required to file the ISF? In general, the responsibility for submitting the ISF lies with the importer of record unless otherwise arranged. The importer of record is indeed the entity or individual responsible for ensuring that the imported goods comply with US laws and regulations. Now, let's dig a little deeper. Alongside the importer, other parties may play a critical role in the filing process. Freight forwarders, customs brokers, and even manufacturers can assist or manage the filing depending on established agreements. Failing to file an ISF can have severe consequences. Customs can impose penalties ranging from a few hundred to several thousand dollars for non-compliance. Additionally, delays may occur in customs clearance, leading to further complications and costs associated with transporting the goods. It's also worth noting that fashion necklaces, like other imported consumer goods, have specific requirements that must be met during the ISF filing process. Importers must declare the nature of the items along with accurate descriptions per harmonized tariff schedule codes this is crucial for proper classification and duty assessment. The ISF filing must include 10 data elements for the initial submission, but many individuals miss the fact that this includes the supplier name and address. This is particularly relevant for fashion accessories, where knowing who the supplier is can prevent potential confusion during customs inspections. Another critical aspect to discuss relates directly to the timelines associated with the ISF. Importers are required to submit their ISF at least 24 hours prior to their cargo loading onto a vessel destined for the United States. In instances where changes occur post-filing, the regulations stipulate that importers must update their ISF. Should incorrect details be discovered after submission, the correction should also occur at least 24 hours in advance of the cargo's arrival in the U.S. Failure to do so can result in similar penalties noted earlier. The impact of filing on the supply chain can be significant, especially in industries like fashion, where trends and timeliness are critical. We should also touch upon the relationship between ISF filings and customs bonds. A customs bond acts as a financial guarantee that all duties, taxes, and penalties related to the import will be paid. Importers are often required to obtain a customs bond when filing an ISF for their shipments, ensuring compliance during the import process. The broader implications of ISF are immense as they contribute to national security and the health of international trade. By requiring importers to provide essential data ahead of time, customs officials can better evaluate the risks associated with shipments entering the U.S. For businesses importing fashion necklaces and similar items, collaborating with an experienced customs broker can significantly reduce the complexity of these processes. Customs brokers can offer invaluable insights into compliance requirements, assist in paperwork, and mitigate risks associated with customs operations. As the landscape of global trade evolves, businesses that stay informed about customs regulations and requirements will thrive. Understanding ISF and its implications for your imported products is one step toward achieving compliance and successful operations in international trade. By grasping who files it, planning timely submissions, and understanding the intricate details of compliance, businesses can manage their imports effectively particularly in sectors like fashion where the stakes are high. Thank you for joining us today to explore the complexities of importer security filing regarding fashion necklaces. Disclaimer note below, see you next time.